Developing now a public housing project in Newport News is in dire need of repairs. Conditions so bad, there's now talk about demolishing Ridley Place and rebuilding. Our reporter Jacqueline Lee spoke with the city. Jacqueline. Well, Jane and David, Ridley Place is the oldest public housing project in the city. They say rebuilding it from scratch is the best way to reinvest in the neighborhood. A lot of people is not living well out here. It's mold. Yvonne Halsey says Ridley Place needs an overhaul. The ceiling's falling in, the bathroom caving in. The city of Newport News agrees. They want to transform the Marshall Ridley neighborhood by turning Ridley Place into a mixed income community. Everyone should have the ability to choose where they want to live and know that wherever they live, they can go to the grocery store, they can go to the cleaners, they can uh, feel safe in their neighborhood. That means replacing the 259 units with mixed income housing. But first, the city needs approval from residents. Ajane Coles has lived in Ridley Place for three years. It's not a bad neighborhood, but sometimes it has these points, you know, like, you know, with everything else, I feel like if they fix it up, it's going to go like much better. McAllister said the city wants to improve the whole neighborhood by first transforming Ridley Place. So I asked her if demolition begins, where will current residents go? They will be able to receive vouchers and then some will be relocated to other sites that are owned by the public, by public by the Newport News Public Housing Authority. And Halsey says she just wants a better environment for the kids living in the neighborhood. The way they live in now, I think any change will be better for them. McAllister said before any sort of rebuilding process begins, it must first be approved by residents at a community meeting on Thursday. Depending on funding, she said it would take two to five years to begin demolition and another five to ten years to complete construction. Live in studio, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.